Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, covering new PC releases for the week of April 29th to May the 5th. Starting on Monday, April 29th, we saw the release of Zack Zero, a platformer with 3D graphics that was designed to play like old school 2D games. This game was developed by Crocodile Entertainment and actually first launched on PSN back in January 2012. Now after playing the game and doing a video on it, I'd have to say that there are certainly some interesting concepts. I like the idea behind the suit and the different attack modes, and I also liked the artistic uh, direction of the game, but the gameplay itself really didn't feel like it was geared towards someone like myself, uh, it certainly felt like it was geared towards a much younger audience. So while I don't think it was terrible, it definitely really wasn't anything that I am all that interested in. Uh, also on Monday, we saw the release of Receiver, which was a sci-fi first-person shooter that focuses on having realistic gun mechanics. And what this means is it's actually difficult to reload the gun. It takes time to properly aim. It really focuses on, on properly using a gun like you would in the real world, rather than just running through and shooting everything and reloading very easily, stuff like that. Uh, now, this game was actually originally created by Wolffire during a seven-day FPS challenge that has been and iterated upon and now brought up to the full release of Receiver, which is available now on Steam. Moving on to Tuesday, April 30th, we saw the release of Leviathan Warships, a turn-based strategy action game where players control a fleet of ships to compete in naval warfare. This game has a single-player co-op and competitive multiplayer. It also has a fleet editor that allows you to combine various ships and weapons for a wide array of strategic options. Seems interesting. It's a game from Paradox. I will be giving that a look. Uh, I'm not necessarily really all that interested in naval warfare, but I do like strategy games, so it seems like something worth checking out. Also released on Tuesday was Xenoclash 2, a first-person action fighting game that focuses on in-depth melee combat, and it has a sim similar system to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. As a direct sequel, the story of this game actually picks up right where the first Xenoclash left off. It's a really strange universe very, very odd game, but a lot of fun. I definitely suggest taking a look at my checkout video of Xenoclash 2. I think this is something that you shouldn't let slip under your radar, and at the very least, you should give it a look to see if it's something you're interested in. Having a first-person combat game that doesn't really focus on shooting, but on punching people and, and strategic melee combat, it's, it's interesting. And the world is so bizarre, but in an intriguing way. And finally, for Tuesday releases, we are seeing Strike Suit Infinity, a score-based space shooter spin-off of Strike Suit Zero. This is basically a mini version of Strike Suit Zero, where your goal is to go through these levels, racking up the highest score possible. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This feels like it's just a game mode that should have been in Strike Suit Zero, but it's a cheap title, it's only $7, and if you're just looking for a score-based experience, then maybe this will be worth looking at, although I'm not sure if I'm going to cover it here on the channel. Moving on to Wednesday, May the 1st, we are seeing the release of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Uh, this is a standalone expansion to Far Cry 3, which means you do not need to own Far Cry 3 to purchase Blood Dragon and play it. The game is set in an 80s vision of the future where you play a Sergeant Rex Cult, a Mark IV cyber commando on a mission to get the girl, kill the baddies, and save the world. Hell of a lot of fun if you liked Far Cry 3. Even if you didn't like Far Cry 3, if you didn't play Far Cry 3, this is a $15 title that's going to run you about six hours. It's got crazy 80s throwbacks to, to very popular movies of the time, and um, it's it's an insane it's an insane experience. It's a lot of fun as well. But also do keep in mind, Far Cry 3 was one of my favorite games of last year, so that's definitely transferring over into Blood Dragon. Um, just just my liking of the game mechanics, although the story. They don't play off each other at all. This is a completely separate experience, but Blood Dragon definitely gives my thumbs up. Also coming out on Wednesday is Fez, the 2D platformer with perspective shifting and deep puzzle mechanics. Now on its uh, on its surface, it appears to be a simple 2D platformer, but as you progress through the game, there's supposed to be a really rich and complex world that gets revealed. Uh, this is a game, as I've mentioned in the past, has gotten high accolades and recommendation from the guys at GiantBomb.com. For that reason, I am excited for it. It seems like it's an interesting game. I'll be giving that a look as well. And then finally for Wednesday releases is Ragnarok on Online 2, a free-to-play fantasy MMORPG that takes elements from the original Ragnarok Online and reimagines them as a three-dimensional modern MMO experience. 
Hmm. I know there's a lot of fans of Ragnarok and uh, Ragnarok Online in particular. I, because it's an MMO, it's hard to say if I'll be able to cover this anytime soon. It's such a hefty time investment to actually give a fair opinion on it. And I'm fairly tied up this week as is, but still wanted to let you guys know about that. And then finally for releases this week, on Thursday, May the 2nd, we are seeing Might and Magic Heroes 6 Shades of Darkness. Uh, Shades of Darkness adds two new campaigns that recount the pivotal moments in Ashan's Dark darker history that will define the future of a decadent underground people and decide the survival of the dying cult of the Spider Queen. I have no idea what any of that means because I never played Might and Magic Hero 6 or any Might and Magic game for that matter, but I guess that sounds interesting. That'll be available for $29.99. And now that we have covered new releases on the PC for this week, let's go ahead and talk about my planned content. All right, so so far of the new releases I've mentioned, I have covered Zack Zero, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, and Xenoclash 2. Of those three, at the very least, you should give a look to Xenoclash 2 and Blood Dragon. Coming up, I plan to take a look at Leviathan Warships, Fez, and the Marvel Heroes Beta, and then I plan to do some coverage of some other titles, although I'm not entirely certain, so I don't want to mention those yet. Uh, it is also worth noting that Neverwinter has gone into open beta this week, so that's exciting for those of you who are looking forward to that. It actually happened today on the 30th. Um, still something I am playing on and off. I haven't spent a ton of time with it. I know people were asking about a Neverwinter guild, I suggest you guys try to uh, talk to each other about forming that. The best place to do that would probably be the forums on my website, and there's a link to the website right below in the video description, so you can go over there. Form that Neverwinter Guild. If you guys see me hop on, be sure to throw me an invite. Uh, my time's been pretty stretched so far this week, so I haven't gotten much time with Neverwinter, but I still really like the game. And then also, uh, I've started playing Dota 2, so that's a thing, and probably a huge mistake. <laughs> And the reason I say that is because, ah, my time is so stretched as it is, trying to start playing Dota 2 might be a terrible idea. But I guess the thing is that if I really get into this, then that could potentially translate into video coverage. No promises, because I don't know how far I will dive into this game, but I've liked what I've played so far, so I'm going to keep on rolling down that Dota 2 train and see where it ends up taking me. And then, of course, we've got Friday Night Magic that'll be happening on Friday, and then the Force Feed Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I think that does it so thank you guys for tuning in here covering new pc releases as well as my planned content for the week if you guys like the content please subscribe and as always keep watching and keep owning Sushi, yeah!